Good morning guys, happy Monday. It's Monday the 27th of March. I had a really, really nice weekend. Um, oh, I was just thinking that I didn't finish my vlog last week, but I did. <laughs> I had a really, really nice weekend. Um, yeah, it was just a super special weekend because obviously it was my birthday. Then it was like the announcement and it was Mother's Day and yeah, just really nice weekend. This morning I've got up and I've done a bit of planning on what I need to do today. But the problem is I actually have no, not motivation, but fatigue is really hitting me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't want to move. <laughs> I've literally been sat on the sofa looking at my phone for half an hour. Half an hour that could have been spent doing something on my to-do list. Um, unfortunately this morning as well, um, I had a bit of morning sickness, which is not good. I thought I was totally over that, but obviously not. Um, and I'm really hungry now, so that's why I've got a spoon in my hand, because <laughs> I'm just about to eat my Weetabix. So I'm going to eat my Weetabix and I'm going to force myself to do something. One of the things is packing um, like all the tools and things. So I might put a program on and do that because then at least I might not feel like I'm actually doing something and I'm not moving around too much because <laughs> I really can't be bothered. <laughs> oh, pregnancy problems. But I'm not complaining. Not complaining at all. It's all it's all part and parcel of it, isn't it? Um, if I didn't say it yesterday, thank you so much for each and every one of you who left a message on my announcement video on my Facebook in the crochet club absolutely overwhelmed with all the messages and um, I checked this morning and the um, announcement video has had 18,000 views 18,000 in like 24 hours which is crazy so yes uh, thank you very much my stomach is seriously rumbling, so I'm going to stop playing with my spoon and actually eat my Weetabix. And I shall see you in a little while. Well, hello. It's now uh, lunchtime. Um, I've packed the parcels. I've also been working on a blog post. And now it's time for the most important task of the day. Food. <laughs> I have been absolutely obsessed with baguettes warm baguettes in particular when we went to Costco we got a massive pack of like part baked baguettes which you just put in the um in the oven and then when you cook them they're all nice and warm <laughs> so baguettes and french fries yeah been loving those <laughs> um so yeah I'm just gonna eat this and then I'm gonna crack on with a few more things I really have to be giving myself a kick up the butt because obviously when um, I finished at the college because I don't know if I've told you this before I don't know if I've talked about it much but I think I have but basically I'm sessional at college now which which means that I get paid for whatever hours I do so I'm not entitled to any maternity pay or anything like that so when I go off on maternity I will only get statutory maternity pay or so I think I've got to try and figure it out because basically because I've got the business as well I think it makes it a bit more complicated and I won't go too much into that but basically I've got to give myself a big kick up the bum because it's the realization of I'm gonna be on maternity but also still running a business so I really need to make sure that the business is running the way that it should so that it supports us financially as well. That's a boring conversation isn't it? But um, this is my vlog and this is you following my journey and that's what I've been thinking about recently. Um, I don't try, I try not to think about it too much because I truly honestly feel that we're going to be okay and that everything always works out in the end um, so that's the thought process I'm going down at the moment anyway I'm gonna stop talking because this baguette is calling my name <laughs> okay so all of my books for February are done ready to do March in a week or so boo hate that job anyway did I show you these how beautiful are these flowers so so pretty 
got loads of flowers this birthday and it's really nice. Uh, got some tulips, oops, a bit bright. Got some tulips from the mother and father-in-law and then some really pretty flowers from Anthony. So yes, I'm gonna go um, and pick up something from Boots. It's like the um, Emma's, what's it called? Emma's Diary Pack, something. I just felt like I wanted to get a bit of fresh air, so I'm gonna go and do that. Uh, might pop to Tesco and get some food for tonight. Depends whether Anthony wants to go food shopping. So I've just texted him, see what he says. So, off for some fresh air. Yay, they actually had them. So, much less of a chore than the original one I had, where I had to try six times to get one. <laughs> So it's five o'clock. I've just had a call from Anthony to say that he's on his way home. So we're going to go shopping. He says it's going to be about 15, 20 minutes. So I'm going to leave now and then I'm going to use that time to sit and just read my book a little bit and then do the food shop. I have no idea what we're having for tea tonight. <laughs> shopping all done. We are having chicken casserole and potato dauphinoise tonight and it smells delicious. It's, on, it's already in cooking. Um, yeah, I'm just going to chill tonight and watch Walking Dead. Um, I love Walking Dead. Um, I know a few of you watch it as well. So um, I'm going to watch that in bed later and just chill out for the rest of the evening. So I shall be signing off for tonight and I shall see you. Oh, I'll see you tomorrow actually because I'll try and remember to take my this vlog camera. But I'm going to see Craig David tomorrow, which I'm really looking forward to. So I'll see you tomorrow. Um, which is Tuesday, which I don't normally see you, but I'll see you then. Bye. Hello, I don't know how much you can see me because it's a bit dark in here and I've got rain all over my glasses because I've just popped out the um, car to get some paracetamol because I've got a headache, which is not good when you go to a concert. So um, I'm currently waiting for my friend. We're going to go for something to eat and then go and see Craig David. Yay! <laughs> Wednesday had such a good night last night at the Craig David concert it was so so good um, feeling a bit tired this morning though and also feeling a bit sick which is not good um, but anywho it always seems to happen when I first stand up out of bed um, and then after I put my makeup on which is so annoying because then my eye makeup runs <laughs> But anyway, that's probably t too much information for you. Um, Adam is coming round shortly. It's currently 5 to 10. He's coming round about 11 o'clock because we've had some new shades of some um, yarn come through. So I've got to take pictures of those. Um, and while I'm waiting for him, I'm going to edit the vlog. So I'm going to have to take the memory card out of this camera in order to edit the vlog. So I shall see you sometime later. <laughs> Hello, it's... I was going to say Wednesday, it's not Wednesday at all. It's Friday. <laughs> I didn't really film very much Wednesday just because we were getting on with bits and bobs. Um, but it is nearly 11 o'clock. Um, I have finished editing a video uh, which was going up today um, at the same time as a blog post going up because I was linking the video to the blog post and the blog to post to the video so it was very complicated but uh, I did that this morning had a shower got dressed um, it's a lovely day outside again today um, <coughs> my mum's coming over later because we're just gonna start sorting a few bits um, ready for getting the house sorted clearing things out because I am a super hoarder and I just hoard everything just because I hold a lot of sentimental value to things, so I'm like, I can't get rid of that because such and such gave me that, or, you know, it's just crazy. I need to get over that, really, because we need more space. Um, but currently, I'm sat here 
just reading all the comments and I'm getting messages and all sorts from people from my video this morning um, and I'm totally overwhelmed with it because I was quite nervous about putting it out there because within the video it's all about how I found out that I was pregnant um, and also the blog post is about telling Anthony that I was pregnant and the video actually contains footage of me taking the test well not of me actually taking the test that would just be a bit gross but my reaction and like the time when I was waiting for the test to um, like develop and then when I saw the test and then after the test um, I am like proper ugly face crying <laughs> in this video um, and all I can say in this video is like oh my god <laughs> and I did swear so I was a little bit you know nervous about how people would react to that but everyone's been so nice and it's like totally I mean I shouldn't expect anything less from you guys really because you guys literally are amazing. Even my students yesterday were um, reading some of the comments from the pregnancy announcement and they were like, oh my God, look at all of these like really nice comments. Just people are just so nice. I was like, yeah, they're amazing. So I love you guys. Um, but yeah, just some really, really nice comments, which kind of just whew, lets me breathe a sigh of relief because it's a very personal thing. But at the end of the day, I do share a lot with you guys and I wanted you to be a part of that. And I don't know, it's, I just felt like I wanted to share. And it's just something really nice to look back on in years and years time. I mean, when our baby is growing up a little bit and um, maybe wants to look back on these vlogs or these videos and see what their mum was like <laughs> when she was 31. <laughs> just only just 31 um yeah it should it should be nice and nice memories and things so i'm feeling good this morning my mum's literally just texted me um so yes we're gonna get tidying and sorting because my house is a tip so my mum was just gone she's just left she was here for a good few hours um, this room still looks an absolute tip. Let me show you. So, look, there's just stuff everywhere still. But the good thing is, I've emptied all of my drawers and reallocated where my clothes are going. Um, emptied the shelves and put the yarn somewhere else. And then all of this stuff is like charity shop stuff, things to go in the loft still got to find a place for all of my personal stash so this is all the stuff that I use um, these things are going in the skip when we get a skip in a couple of weeks so even though it still looks pretty darn full we have made progress so I'm very happy about that my back however is about to give in <laughs> just keeps like giving up halfway through like if I'm walking or leaning or whatever but, oh well um I still have my video to film for this week this room is still a bit of a mess um I've managed to put my books up there so they're out the way um did I show you these these are the new prints if I've not shown you already I think I might have shown you already um so yes i'm going to film the video and i think i'm going to do the little newborn hat that i did that was in my um pregnancy announcement video so i've just got to finalize the pattern details for that first so i'll sit down while i'm doing that rest my back a little bit and then film the video just before i do that i just want to show you something because i am 13 weeks tomorrow and i don't know if you can see but look at my bum! <laughs> it's getting a lot bigger. Let me try it this way. Look! Where's that come from? It's crazy and it's like so firm as well. <laughs> yes, so that certainly feels very strange how the little bump's starting to come out. But anyway, as I say, sit down, work out the uh, pattern and then film the video. 
it's still Friday and about an hour since I last filmed anything and you want to know what I did with that last hour well shortly after putting my camera down I laid on the unmade bed because I'm cleaning the sheets by the way I laid there and I laid there some more <laughs> and some more and some more and I haven't moved since then <laughs> and then I remembered that I've got to go and get some potatoes for tonight's dinner so I've just quickly got changed and I'm gonna go and get some potatoes my back is so so sore that is the reason why I've laid down not just because I'm extremely lazy but my back was so sore like literally to the point where I can barely walk it's not good but anyway off to Tesco I go <laughs> Um, I'm making dinner tonight, which very rarely happens. Um, we are having shepherd's pie, which is probably one of the only things that I, like, uh, <laughs> I make that Anthony likes. <laughs> so, yeah, shepherd's pie tonight. Um, and I had a bit of like a burst of energy, so I thought I'd get it ready now before I crash and burn later. morning everybody happy Saturday um, I am just getting set up to film um, tomorrow's tutorial again very late with this um, but I'm gonna film this and then I'm gonna go into town with my mum um, she wants to do a bit of shopping and I said I'd join her it's quite nice to get out the house and get some fresh air um, in terms of how I'm feeling today I had morning sickness this morning um, and then I had a bacon sandwich <laughs> I don't know if that's normal. <laughs> the, the good thing about morning sickness is once you are sick, and I'm so sorry if people don't like sick or anything, but I feel like I've spoke about this a lot, but this is what's going on in my life right now. But yeah, um, after you're sick, you kind of feel okay. And so you can just get on with things. Whereas if you are like poorly sick, you feel sick all the time. So I've not got like, the nausea in between the sickness anymore which is good so fingers crossed that is a good sign um, but I burnt my finger you can't really see um, but I burnt my finger this morning cooking my egg for my bacon sandwich <laughs> it's really sore it feels like it's swollen a little bit look can you see anyway uh, so yes I am setting up for a tutorial I thought this week I would do the tutorial for the little newborn hat which was in my announcement video just because loads of people are asking for baby items um, and I thought this might be the relevant time to do one. Um, the reason why I've not really done baby items before is really because I haven't really got that much experience with babies <laughs> if I'm being honest and like sizings and different things like that so um, I did a little bit of research for the hat obviously excuse my face by the way I've got no makeup on yet um, but yeah I did a bit of research for the hat for sizings and things so I think it's about time that I learnt them kind of things and then of course I'll pass on my knowledge of what I've learnt to you guys um, but yeah I'm looking forward to playing around with a bit of few thing, a few like baby items and loads and loads and loads of people said oh does that mean you're going to do baby items now so I don't know how many I'm going to do um, throughout the pregnancy I'm just going to see because I don't just want to like bombard people with all this baby stuff I'm quite aware that 
my last two videos on my channel have been about baby things and not everybody likes that so I still want to keep it varied but also as well there has been a huge amount of people asking for baby stuff not only just now but like before before I was pregnant as well so yes I ramble don't I I ramble a lot <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna film that tutorial I'm gonna get myself dressed and then hopefully by then my mum's ready to go into town so we'll do that the weather is oh, you can't see outside really but the weather is pretty rubbish today um, it's supposed to rain it's just so sporadic like one day it's absolutely gorgeous like yesterday the next day it's raining and miserable Good old British weather. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now. I shall see you later. Okay, so I am all dressed and ready. Um, I'm just waiting for my mum to tell me that she's um, back from shopping. So I'm just going to chill out for a little bit while, um, while I'm waiting. I might read a book. I know that it's generally frowned upon that when you're pregnant to drink pop. But we all know that I've got an addiction. And I have limited myself to one a day, most days. Some days I have two, but it's only 40 milligrams of caffeine. Um, and they recommend that you have no more than 200 milligrams of caffeine a day. I don't really eat much chocolate. Um, so yes, this is my guilty pleasure and it really helps settle my stomach. So yes, and as I've sat down, I think my mum's just texted me to tell me that she's back home from shopping <laughs> I was just about to uh, read a bit more of this this is Carrie Green she mean, means business um, focus there we go Carrie Green she means business she is the lady behind the female entrepreneur association and it's uh, being marked my page is being marked with a McDonald's drink wrapper straw wrapper <laughs> Anyway, this is a really good book if you do like feeding your mind with positivity and, you know, all of that to help you with businesses and different things. Um, if you want to kind of know what books I read, let me know and I'll uh, talk about them a bit more. I don't read a huge amount, but I try to because I believe... Hold on, let me turn my camera around. I believe that um, feeding your mind on a daily basis is the way to go. We all need to grow uh, as human beings and, you know, feeding your mind is very important. So although I might not read a great deal because I'm quite a slow reader, I always have been, I enjoy reading when I get the time. Um, it's, I'm one of those people who like very rarely finishes a book all in one go, but I do enjoy reading. Um, if I'm not reading, then what I'll do is I'll actually go on the internet and read articles that way. So it's not necessarily a book. Or I'll watch YouTube videos and different talks and things like that. Absolutely love Tony Robbins. Carrie Green is very good. Um, and there's quite a few others as well. So if you are interested in all of that, um, then please let me know. I might do some blog posts on it. I do have the inspirational page on my blog, which I only realised you can't actually get to from... Um, a mobile so I might see if I can try and get that on a mobile page because people are missing out on that uh, but it's basically this step by step of how you can um, take yourself back to basics and um, you know be more positive and set goals and different things like that so if you haven't seen that already check it out I'll leave a link in the description box below um, and even if you're on mobile that should take you directly to that page but yes, let me see if that was my mum. <laughs> She's funny. We're gone, she says. And then the next one is home. <laughs> so she means that we're home. So even though I've just sat down to read my book, um, I'm ready to go. So off to town I go. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Looking a bit rough this morning. <laughs> um... Yeah, I didn't really vlog much yesterday. I was just having a really nice day with my mum. We went shopping. Um, I was looking for some um, maternity trousers for work, but I didn't really have much luck in finding any. I looked on the internet last night, and I might try Asda. They seem to have a really good selection, so hopefully they stock it at 
the store just around the corner from me um, but if not I might try ordering online just to see what they look like and they're really good prices as well so if you are pregnant right now um, <coughs> Asda um, I think the problem is I mean I've got some maternity jeans um, but the problem is finding the trousers the trousers just don't, didn't seem to fit the same as the maternity jeans like I'm not ready for them yet um, but I'm growing out of my uniform so it's a bit of a bit of a one <clears throat> but anyway I've been a little bit uh, poorly this morning shall we say um, so I am sat don't judge me I am sat with a couple of bourbons and a cup of tea um, Anthony's still in bed just open the blinds the sun is shining it's a beautiful day and I have my style at home magazine um, <clears throat> a couple of years ago I got this on offer it was um, Black Friday um, so in November or is it December? No, it's November, isn't it? So the Black Friday deal, um, I got them like half price for the whole year. And I'm pretty sure that the offer was on the same again this year. Or did I just renew it? Either way, you get it cheaper. I mean, it's only one ninety nine anyway. Um, but you get it delivered to your house, which is pretty cool at the beginning of each month. So I'm going to sit with my bourbons and my cup of tea and have a nice chilled read through this this morning. Um, usually I go and wake Anthony up about nine o'clock-ish. <laughs> yes, I'm like his mum. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I usually go and take him a cup of tea and we'll sit in bed and have a chat and just have a nice chilled Sunday. Um, I'm going up to my mum's as usual. What, I was thinking what we had to eat. We've got a Sunday dinner but we've got pork. <laughs> yum yum. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to tell you really. <laughs> So I'm home from my mum's, had a lovely Sunday dinner and um, my mum's friend came round as well so it was just really nice to have a sit and a chat with her um, and I'm home and what I think I'm going to do is make a start on one of these which is the new um, packs of cushions, like embroidery cushions so I'm going to make a start on one of them I think I don't know which one to do because I'm going to do one just to try out. Hang on my nose. One just to try out, um, and then the other one I'll do as a tutorial just to like help people if they're struggling to do whatever. So, yes, very very pretty indeed. Um, and then I'm just going to chill out. So I guess that's it for this week's vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe um, to keep up to date with all of my latest vlogs. Don't forget when you subscribe to uh, make sure that you um, highlight the bell button. So it will say subscribe and just next to it, press the bell bu button and it will alert you when there's a new vlog up. But thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next week. Bye.